May 22, 2018, 1.34 p.m. Last updated, May 22, 2018, 1.34 p.m. Almost two-thirds of Americans view the economy positively and more than two-thirds believe that President Donald Trump's policies are at least partly responsible, according to a recent YouGov poll. Trump's policies are a great deal responsible for the current state of the economy, believed 35%, while 33% thought his agenda is somewhat responsible. People seemed cautious, however, to describe the economy in two rosy terms, with 18% rating it, very good, and 46%, somewhat good. Only 9%, on the other hand, rated the economy, very bad. People also tended to be optimistic about their economic future over the next year or two, with 42% expressing optimism and 33% pessimism. The economy has broken several records over the past months, like the most job openings in one month, 6.55 million in March. That means there were almost as many job openings as people counted as unemployed. The unemployment fell to 3.9% in April. The only time it has ever dropped so low since 1969 was in April 2000, and only for one month. Also, black and Hispanic unemployment rates have fallen to the lowest levels in recorded history. Among women, the unemployment rate has decreased to the lowest since the 1950s. The unemployment figure can be deceiving, as it does not include those who haven't sought a job over the previous four weeks. But even when counting the jobless who've looked for a job over the past 12 months and also those who'd like a full-time job but have to settle for a part-time one, the numbers look the best since 2001, standing at 7.8%, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. The economy has been beating expectations for over a year thanks to a boost to confidence in the economy linked to President Donald Trump's cutting of regulations, taxes, and his planned investment in infrastructure. Trump ran on a core promise of reviving the economy and the promising results boost his agenda in the upcoming midterm elections, including two special elections, there will be 35 Senate seats up for grabs come election day on November. 6. Of those, 23 are currently held by Democrats and 2 by Independents, Bernie Sanders and Angus King, who are allied with Democrats. Republicans hold 8 seats. In addition, voters will decide on all 435 voting seats in the House of Representatives, where Republicans currently hold 235 seats versus the Democrats' 193. Trump has recently dedicated a significant portion of his speeches to the midterms. Get out and vote. Don't be complacent, Trump said during his May 4 speech at the National Rifle Association convention. Like 90% of the time, you win the presidency and, for whatever reason, you lose the midterm. We can't let that happen. The YouGov poll, conducted on May 16-18, showed 48% of adults are, very likely, to vote in the midterms. Respondents largely believed congressional candidates should focus on their agenda, whether left or right leaning, as a priority, rather than supporting or opposing Trump's agenda. Especially among the mix of Democrats and Independents, only 28% believed opposing Trump's agenda should be the candidate's first priority. Watch next, the characters, formed by practitioners who sat and meditated over the course of a few hours, spanned 308 feet long and around 76 feet wide. Share tweet, share email.